Good morning guys welcome to the vlog so today is saturday we are up early because riley has swim class so i'm up with her this morning i'm finishing up making her breakfast but she's gonna go to swim class she's been doing swim classes now for a couple months and it's been so great but it does require like on saturday mornings for me to wake my butt up be out the door because her class is early riley are you excited to go to swim class oh but you're so cold so you put a blanket so what are you gonna work on today at swim class on your back floats and what else? How about when I'm, when I'm lying in my car and then I'm so cold and I can put on this blanket. Yeah, is that a good idea? Very good. <laughs> so I always take her in her little bathing suit and then she changes into clothes after. So I got to make sure that she's got all her stuff in her bag, her goggles, all of that. So I took care of that this morning. Making baby girl a waffle. So let me finish making that for her. What else do you want, a banana? I'm actually proud of us because normally we're like literally running out the door because I kind of sleep in late. But I was up earlier than usual because it was so weird today. Like she was crying at 6.30 in the morning, um, which she never does. Like she always sleeps the full night until like eight. But she was crying at 6.30. I honestly thought it was Jackson. And I went to her room to see like what was the matter. And she was saying that her sound machine was off, which it was. Like she told us last night, hey, I don't want my sound machine. And then this morning when she woke up, she was mad that it was off. So I've been cuddling with her in her bed since 6.30 this morning. But on the positive side, like at least I was able to get ready on time and not be in a rush to get to class like normal. We do have a pretty busy day today. Look. Wiping the knife, okay? When Joseph Buell says I don't do that, I do it. Um, we have a pretty busy day because we're gonna try to go to Target when we get back. We're gonna try to go to Target. I'm looking for some stuff to organize the art supplies over there in the dining room. I, here you go. What do you say? Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Why are you upset? Because there's a little speck of peanut butter on that, really? There you go, is that better? Okay, thanks, that's my life. Um, I told you guys on Instagram, I want to find a solution for over here in the dining room. You guys know that over here in the dining room. Yes. Okay, Dad, I will get him. Don't worry. Okay, you guys know that this is like where we keep our art supplies for the kids and like, I don't know, educational activities and stuff. And I've organized this storage cart a million times, but it's not working because like everything's out in the open. The kids have access to it. They make a mess. So I'm going to go to Target and look for maybe some kind of like a cabinet or some kind of better system so that at least the stuff isn't always like out and showing all this clutter. So I'm going to try that. And then Joe also wants to go to Lowe's. So we're going to do some you know, projects over here in the house. Get this house a little bit tidied up, so I'm excited for that. All right, so while Riley's finishing up her breakfast over there, I have like 15 minutes to spare, so I'm gonna do a little bit of quick cleaning up. We had a very messy day yesterday, like the kids made a mess. I'll show you guys outside after. But I got some new cleaning products that I wanted to share with you guys. So today's video is sponsored by a company called Blue Land. Very excited to share their products with you guys. If you've never heard of them, like I had never heard of them either. Um, let me. Let me just tell you and then I can clean up the table. So they're a company, they actually went on Shark Tank and they got an offer from one of the sharks. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show, but I've always like liked to see the companies and stuff that go in there and like I think it's really cool that they were on Shark Tank. But basically these are some of the cleaners that I got. I have this one that's the multi-surface one and then this is a bathroom spray and then this is glass and mirror. So the concept behind them is great because it's kind of like about two things. Number one, saving you money because the way that these work is you're not buying a bottle of cleaner like every time like you know how when you go to the store you buy the cleaners um like they're like five or six dollars a bottle the concept behind this is you get these like forever bottles and then you get these little tablets that then you drop into the bottles they disintegrate all of that and then from that point on all you have to do is order the tablet so instead of paying like five or six dollars a bottle for a cleaner and going to the store every time grabbing another bottle of cleaner the tablets I think are like $2 a tablet and I think like you can even get them in bulk that gets them even cheaper. So you're saving money there. And then the bigger thing really is that you're saving on like that single use plastic consumption because like instead of getting a bottle of cleaner, throwing it away when you're done, you're just using the bottles, which I think is great. Like you do whatever you can to help the environment a little bit. So that's like my contribution in that sense. So I'll show you a quick little demo of how they work just so you guys can see them in action. But 
you fill up the bottles with water up until like the little fill lines which are right here and then you drop in the tablets i think it took maybe the tablets like 15 minutes to dissolve and then once they're dissolved you screw back the tops and then you have your three cleaners so i have those three cleaners now and then i also have the hand soap so the set that I got, I think is called the Cleaning Essentials Kit, and it came with all of those things. So when you order the kit, I think that's already like a built-in 20% savings as opposed to like buying them individually. But they did give me a code that gets you an extra 15% off. So I'm gonna leave all the information down below in the description box. Use my link, use my code, grab your kit. I'm really happy because like now, this is really pretty much all I need to clean my house these days. You guys know that I have um, like my cleaning ladies that come and clean uh, every other week and they do like the deep clean they clean like all of the tubs they clean the floor and all of that but on like a regular basis it's nice to have like the surface spray the one thing you know my cleaning ladies they don't do my any of my windows or um like they do the mirrors in my bathrooms and stuff but they don't clean any of my um windows do your like if you get your house clean do they clean your windows um because mine do not so that's why i was happy to get like a glass and mirror um spray so that i can do that because i realized the other day i was like my windows are like super dirty so that is all um i just thought i'd share them with you guys they also ship to the us the uk and canada so shipping shouldn't be an issue if you guys are interested in trying them out i will tell you guys and i'm sure you guys know already but i'm not the kind of person like i still use paper plates on occasion like i still have paper and plastic products that i use but when I can switch out something to be a little bit more like eco-friendly, I think that's great. Like, I don't think you have to be like all or nothing, but if you can find an area in your life where you can save the planet a little bit or help the environment a little bit, then that is great. So again, thanks to Blue Land for sponsoring. I'm gonna put these away. Like later when we get home, I'm gonna organize a little bit under the cabinet over here. This is usually where we keep like all of our cleaning stuff and we got lots of bottles so now i really just need these three all right so at least we got a clean table there um this is the mess that i was telling you guys about so out here that bin used to be full of sand that one over there and that one over there used to be full of sand and then that's like riley's bin of little figurines yesterday they were out here playing and of course riley filled up that entire bin that had sand with water so then it was sand and water all of the figurines were in there too it was a mess to clean so needless to say joseph buell was not happy about it and i had to go out there and clean up all of the mess i had to dump the entire bin that had the sand the sand is obviously now gone so i have to order new sand if they're ever gonna play with sand again i had to spray down with the hose all of the people get all the sand particles off so it was it was not fun so moral of the story is that if there's ever sand outside and there is water nearby sand and water don't mix so you need to make sure that there's anything that has sand if you're gonna have them playing with water bring in the sand because you might think, oh, they're not gonna mix it, or I told them not to mix it because that's what I told them, right? I told them do not mix the sand with the water. They don't listen. So uh, yeah, it's better if you keep sand and water away from each other. Did you finish your breakfast? Did you? Go finish. We gotta go see your coach. Right, so we are all done with swim class right she did great she's been working on her back floats so i think the girl her coach told her that she'd got like three seconds on a back float and then another time she got two seconds on a back float so she's making progress it's been so fun to see how like even like a month ago she was scared to put her face in the water or she was scared to like do a lot of the things that she's doing now so Baby steps for making progress. Riley, I'm so proud of you. Did you have fun? Yeah, she's sad because she didn't pass to the next level, but it's okay because you're making progress. How do you say progress? Progress. You're doing a great job. Thing is, like to get to minnow four, to get to like the next level, she has to do a back float for five seconds, like on her back, and then she has to float facing down for five seconds and then she has to be underwater for five seconds so i think she's gonna be a middle three for a while 
but um, she's still doing good and I'm so glad that we're doing these um, weekly classes. This coming week, I have a couple makeups for her because we were like in Miami a couple times that so she had classes. So we're doing makeup classes next week. So she has swim like three times next week. So it'll be good. And then she has her last dance class for this session next week too. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a busy week. Well, anyway, I'm trying to get home so that we can run our errands, go to Lowe's. Joe wants to get, I don't know what the heck he wants to get. He wants to get some kind of power cord for the generator, I don't know. He just told me that this cord is like $200 and I was like, why? It's a cord, but whatever. So we're gonna get that and then go to um, Target. I'm very excited because there's a Publix that had opened up that we went to check out last week, I think it was, that we went to Publix. Remember when we went to the Papa store and you got a cookie? Wasn't that nice? So we went there and I bought a whole bunch of like Cuban um, food, like I got some croquetas from the freezer aisle. I got some platanitos maduros, which are like sweet plantains from the hey, freezer I section. Got SpongeBob string cheese. Oh yeah, you got SpongeBob string cheese. So I got a whole bunch of um, Cuban food that I hadn't been able to find. Like when I normally do my groceries at Aldi or at Walmart pickup, like when I do stuff there, I normally don't find some of the stuff that they have at Publix. Like at Publix, there's like a whole Goya section with mojo, with Cuban crackers, with Maria cookies. Tell so. I was so surprised that I got crackers. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of Cuban stuff, very excited. Posted a picture of it on Instagram and then my girlfriend who lives in like the DC area, she told me that um, she also was like missing cause she's originally from Miami. So she's like, I was missing batelitos too. So I ordered them from Publix. So I had no idea that you could order batelitos from Publix. They have like platters that you can go and order. So I placed an order like that same day. I was like, what, are you serious? Like you can order batelitos cause that's like the one thing that I really miss that I haven't been able to find or some batelitos. So I ordered them. I know this is a really long story and you probably don't even care, but I'm very excited about it. So I placed the order. I paid for the order. The next day the girl was like, hey, we're gonna have to cancel your order because we don't have any cheese pastries. They're like back stock. We can't get our hands on them. And I was so bummed because I was so excited. And then I told her, okay, well, um, just keep my number in case you guys get them in again and give me a call. So yesterday they called me and they were like, hey, good news, we got the cheese pastries in. So I placed an order immediately again and we're supposed to pick them up today. I don't know why this keeps overexposing, but we're supposed to go pick them up today. So I'm crossing my fingers that nothing bad happens and that we can go pick up our patelitos because that's like my favorite thing. Joe too, by the way. I turned him on to patelitos because the poor little Ringo <laughs> never had patelitos and now he loves them. But up here, there's like nowhere. Like we don't have any Cuban bakeries. In DC, I think there's a couple spots that have like Cuban food, but that's kind of far from us, like to go like just regularly unless we're in DC. So yes, point of my story is that I'm very excited that I'm gonna get some Cuban food and get that craving taken care of. But we're gonna do Lowe's, do that, and then hopefully we have some success at Target. Um, I've been seeing you guys, so many people sharing that in Target there's like a TOY clearance right now. And the same thing at Walmart too. I don't know if they do like a Christmas in July or what the deal is, but um, that like some of the toys are marked 70% off. So hopefully we can take a look at that, see if there's any good deals um, that just like makes me all excited. But yes, yeah, so let's get home. Let's see what dad is doing, what Jackson's doing, all of that. And we'll continue with the day. I will get it for you. Good morning. How are you, Gordo? Hi, buddy. Good morning. Oh, you're all done? Hi. Hey, you still have Papa there. You have yogurt and you have waffle. You're not all done. Hi, Dada. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Hello, Karen. How you doing? Jackson Wyatt. How do you say hi? How do you say hi? Say, I've been attached to my mama for a very long time. Oh, you want to vlog? Oh, say hi. Whoa. Say good morning, friends. How you doing? Mm, these are great angles. The papa chin. Mm -hmm. Do not break my camera. It's expensive. Hey, 
Say hi. Say hello. You gotta hold it. You gotta hold it here like this. Hold it like that. Wow, great! Look at that. Check out that one. Say, I have eight teeth. You guys, I don't know when he's gonna get the rest of his teeth. Like, he has only the four on the top and the four on the bottom. He said he wanted to play with his little army guys. He's gonna play with that. I rotated out the toys for the kids too the other day. So if you guys haven't seen that toy rotation video. Airplane! I do have it here, just showing you like the system. It's been working out really well for us. Just having that one bin to like switch out the toys with. Riley, you playing with ice cream, Play-Doh? Yes, who wants ice cream? Who wants ice cream? This is one of her little ice cream Play-Doh sets. We went yesterday to the library, you guys. I think in the last vlog too, I showed you guys that we went to the library, but it had been like a week since we went, and we went yesterday with Joe, and we picked out new books for the kids. So these are all the new ones that Riley picked. I would like a strawberry ice cream, please. So she picked out a whole bunch of like National Geographic books, but it's so great because she's learning all these things about all these different oh we got this one what riley wore um she just learns about all of the different bugs and she always gets like bug books this is about a praying mantis you see how the books go do so yes about a komodo dragon she got one. Oh, look this one was for jackson <laughs> it's a cars book that's lightning mcqueen i think the last time that we went to the library they picked out like eight books this time they picked out like 20 so um yeah i've been loving it i think it's such a great thing i don't know how i spent so much time not having a library nearby to go to because we can read these to them and i don't have to keep them i don't have to pay for them um we don't have to have just like a giant collection of books that you know we don't read i think it's so fun to have new books to read to them i don't get bored of the same books so again like you guys are gonna hear me talk about the library because i'm so happy about it what do you see there who is that? Me. That's Lightning McQueen. Do it. How does Lightning McQueen go? Wow. She also got like a Peppa book. So we are very pleased with them. I actually got myself a couple books this time around. I don't know if I'm going to have time to read them. But I got this one, which I think is written by a girl that has an Instagram account. I think she's called The Lazy Genius. Somebody told me to follow her because they said that I'd probably like her stuff. So I found her book and then I got this one too, which I just thought was very much how I live my life. So hoping that one will be good. And then I just found this one, Parenting with Grace, A Catholic Parent's Guide to Raising Kids. I don't know if I'm gonna read the whole thing or just kind of skim through it, but those were the three that I checked out for myself. I'm probably gonna ask you guys on Instagram too, if I haven't already, but I'm hoping you like that. I'm hoping to get back to reading a little bit more like I have my devotionals that I read I have some of like my more like biblical books that I read and I enjoy them but I would love to like get back into reading fiction books because there was a time where I would read fiction books all the time so if you guys have any recommendations for fiction books that you love anything that's I don't know like a thriller murder mystery I don't know if there's any good books that you really like leave them down below so I can look them up in the library and see if they have them um just kind of like have like a reading wish list there going on so thank you very much Jackson let's get you dressed so we can go to Target you want to go to Target I'm so glad you like that book all right so we're back in the car on our way to Target got the whole fam back here Riley are you excited to go to Target yes yes Jackson, what the heck happened to his uh, mirror? It's like all lopsided. Joseph Buell, what are we looking for at Target? A coaster and a floor lamp. A coaster for the desk? For your desk? Yeah. That's what you're going to Target for, to look yeah. for a coaster and a floor lamp. And a floor lamp. Okay. Now there's a couple more things that he wants to get for like his little office space in the front of the house. He wants to like, there was a lamp that was on the desk that he said was like taking up a lot of space. So we're gonna look for like a floor lamp to put instead and um, a coaster apparently. And then I'm gonna look for the things that I already told you about, the thing for the 
art supplies. I want to look at the boys' clothes because I saw somewhere that like the fall closes out. And not that I want to like get fall wardrobes yet, but there's like a specific thing that I'm looking for, like a specific outfit that Jackson had last year, and it's like so soft. So I'm gonna see if they have it and look at toy clearance so i don't know like we're going with like a lot of things that we're looking for will we succeed i don't know we'll get sidetracked obviously more than likely thank you for taking us to target data and i guess we're not going to lowe's joe said that we're not going to go to lowe's because yeah, they don't have yeah they don't have what he's looking for so let's do it all right so let's do this all right so we have to get two cars this time because the last time i came with the kids and i put riley in like the where she is now and then i started like throwing stuff in there she started having a fit saying i was squishing her so we got two cards today just in case Let's see if they have what i'm looking for here in the boys section Not sure if it's like fall stuff yet here hold my cart they have a bunch of t-shirts still a lot of shorts but i don't see what i'm looking for i hate it when they have like stuff online but then they don't have it in store this little set is really cute for girls though even though it looks kind of small, this is like babies still. But no, they don't have the things that I was looking for. Still a lot of Disney stuff. Still a lot of Disney outfits. Like if you're going to Disney, this is a good place to get like just some basic t-shirts. Riley has this one. This is a cute Peppa one, but I'm gonna control myself today. I don't know where they would have it if they still had any toy clearance going on. See, they have some stuff 30%, but I thought they had some stuff at like 70%. So we're going to look around a little bit. I don't know if they have everything just like mixed in. I don't really know. Are you having fun? I want to pick one book. You want to pick a book? See, look, like some of these magnet tile sets, they had them like $74. And now they had them for $37. Not that I would pay $74 for one of these, but they have a lot of things on sale. <laughs> what do you see, Jackson? I don't see a family. Dad, are you saying he sees a car? <laughs> Seeing these Play-Doh cars. Those are not... Well, this one's $6.99. Yeah. They don't do Play-Doh. I would rather do Kinetic Sand than Play-Doh. Well, he has a Kinetic Sand one at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just let him hold it. If he gets bored of it, then we'll dump it before we go. This is like the best way to know like what to get them for the holidays and for their birthdays. Just take them through the aisles. But this may have been a very big mistake. Because <laughs> he wants everything. But look, you see like everything is pretty much taken. Look, they have Bluey toys. Those aren't on sale though. Bluey. I like Bluey too. A bunch of stuff like look, used to be 22, now 6. 89. Mm, I want to have the dollies. You like those dollies? I want those dollies. Like this is crazy. I wonder if by the time that I finish, like when I upload this video, if they're still gonna have clearance, but definitely worth checking out. All right, so we are over here now, like in the home aisles. So I've got to look for that storage thing, but I'm gonna get distracted. <laughs> Because all this stuff is so pretty. It's all the home decor stuff. This is really pretty. I just, I don't know where I would put it, but it's pretty. Would love to put some wall art up one day, maybe. <laughs> They're behaving so good though. Around the pineapple. So we're looking for a floor lamp to put in that space. I mean, I think that would probably work. I mean, anything I think like black, I think it has to be black. I don't, I don't know that I want like gold in there. Let me see the picture you took. I told them to take a picture of the room. But I wonder how much space we even have. No, there's plenty of space for anything. No, but I also don't want it to be like super big. Yeah, I think this one over here looks like it's black and just a simple floor lamp. So I think we're gonna go with this one. I think it's like 80 bucks, maybe. Riley, what you got? Oh, that was so nice. That's very nice for you to give Jackson some love. Um, hey, are you being squished today? Yeah, but no, I'm not. You're not. See? Mm hmm. What do you got there? This little Barbie doll I think was normally like $9.99. They had it on sale for $2.99. It says $4.99, but it's $2.99. And then black finish. black finish. Okay, let's go with that one then. Yeah. And then we're going to probably take this. And then I'm thinking of getting them these blocks. Yeah, you can put it in here. Maybe hiding those blocks because they're 50% off. So they're only like 10 bucks for a nice block set. 
I think this might work. So now what else do we have to find? Coaster. Oh no, the storage thing, the thing we actually came here for. Alright, so it's not looking like they have like the storage situation that I want. So we're probably gonna go to Michael's, but we're here in like the kitchen area and I wanted to show you guys these um these mugs that they have. Like if you're into like the cricket projects and stuff, look how pretty this mug is. And then you could like put something on it, you can make it say something. And that's like a nice blank canvas there. I actually like this dinner set, like the bowls, the plates, they are very pretty. But then they also have like other blank coffee mugs, like these are two bucks, then you can personalize it. They have them in white too. Of course they have like their already done mugs that are super pretty, but I'm trying to make my own these days. What does this one say? You're doing great. I love that. That's super nice. Nice inspirational mug when I'm feeling like a failure. Joe wants to get a shaker. Jackson's having a fit because he sees the bananas. No, his sister's bugging him. Oh, is he? Is she? Oh, she just got poked in the eye. But he sees the bananas. Oh, well, that's a problem. Yes. This I'm going to take home. Are there any coasters? These are coasters. Any of them that you like? I mean, if it's for your desk. I would prefer that it's black. These are pretty coasters. These are these are six fifty. These coasters. We're gonna get these because they're on sale. Okay. They're beautiful. They're really pretty. But I got this new set of um, forks and knives. It was thirty five bucks for a place setting of four. So we're gonna take those home. All right. We had to give Jackson some goldfish <laughs> to eat. So we'll have to pay for that. That's a bath bomb. Why? Why do you need that? Probably you need to for the bath. For the bath? So it can color change. So it can color change the bath? Yes. I can have those for my bath before I do this. Right? Just like a, a bath for the bath. She is an enabler. She wants to take home all the things. Um, but look, I was going to show you guys. <laughs> have you guys ever seen these teeny tiny little piñatas? They are so cute. I had no idea that they had tiny pinatas here. They have like the bigger ones, which I also didn't know that Target carried these. They have like a little sloth. Big ones are 15, but like the tiny ones are so cute. This like birthday party theme of the unicorns. So pretty. Look, this is the kind of stuff that I was telling you when um, we did like the sensory bin stuff. You could look in like the party favors area, but like, look, this is five bucks versus Dollar Tree stuff that was a dollar. But that's the kind of stuff that you'd put in a sensory bin. All right, so we're here at Michael's and we're looking at the storage solutions here. So they have this, obviously I'm not gonna get it in this color. They have it in clear. So I think that may work at least like to get rid of all the clutter. See, this is the one that I think I had originally seen online. Like this one's just taller and it has 10 drawers. But since it's gonna be behind the dining room table, I feel like if it's smaller. You would get two of them? Well, I mean, I can always order another one, but... I just don't... This ain't gonna be enough for what's in there. You just don't wanna stop, dude. You just can't do it. It's, it's impossible. What, that she keeps bothering her brother? All right, let's do it. I think we can make it work. You prefer this over, like, having one of those? Yeah? Okay. All right, you guys, we made it home. <laughs> Look what I picked up! We got our patelitos here, and I am so... So happy. I didn't even think that they were gonna be the big ones. I honestly thought they were gonna be like the little ones. But you know what? This totally made my day. The fact that the lady saved my number and called me when these came back in stock. Just people are, there are still some nice humans in the world. So I'm gonna dig into one of these. I think I might heat them up for a few seconds. What do you want, Riley? How do you say that? Come here and show me how you say that word. Blues how do you say blues clues? <laughs> Blue's Clues. Your Blue's Clues toy? Your, which toy is it that you want? How do you say that? A little louder? Blue's Clues! <laughs> Blue's Clues, she can't say it. <laughs> Jackson, are you going to play with toys too? Both of them took a little nap on the way home. So that was good. Alright, Dada, you think that was a successful shopping trip? Yeah. I think overall that was very successful. We really got like the last clear cart. The last one of these like they had a bunch of them in the colors but um we got the last clear one so hopefully later be able to go and organize some of that but let's get them with their lunch and stuff and 
content and then we'll do that later. All right, let's see. Moment of truth over here. See if they're any good. I'm gonna make a mess, but that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy that I didn't have to be a Miami to eat a pastelito de queso. Obviously, they taste delicious. They're actually better than I thought they'd be. They're not like Pinecrest Bakery, Ricky Bakery, Vicky Bakery in Miami, but they're very good. They're good enough for not being there, so I will take it. Very happy. So to my friend Katrina, who told me that you could order these at Publix. I love you, girlfriend. That is the best. That's like such a treat. Jackson, what you doing? This was his toy that he got. It's like a little Play-Doh set, but Joe didn't give him the Play-Doh, and he doesn't care because all he wants to do is just run these along the couch. So that is perfect. All right, Joe's over here putting together the lamp. I think the lamp ended up being like um, 50 bucks. I don't even think it was 80. I think it should work in here. I'm hoping the color I think is the right color like I wanted a black lamb is it too short though or does it extend all right well we'll see when we put it in the corner but I think it's gonna look good because he already set up like he got this new black mat remember in the last vlog he put that like gray one I think this looks a lot better he's got his coaster look at that I already put his coaster so this setup is a little nicer here. All right, so there we go. We got the lamp. The only thing we did is we kept the shade from like the other lamp that we had like that. We kept the old shade on this new lamp so that they looked like the same because the one that came with that lamp, it was like two different colors, so it looked off. But I think that looks nice. So he has the lamp there and then now he gets a little bit more light in here and then it's not taking up the space on his um, desk. So I think that worked out well. Of course, he's gonna hide the cords and all of that. But that was a success for him. I'm very happy. All right, I took out all the pieces to the cart. So I think I'm going to work on putting the little knobs because that's something easy I can do. I can just put the little knobs on. Whoa. And then I'm going to see if Joe can finish putting that together for me. So let's do that. Riley, are you helping Dada? What a good helper you are. I think, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it that you have in your hand, Riley? What is that? A drill. A drill? I have a drill. You have to be very careful with that and you have to only use it when Dada tells you to, okay? All right, so I'm going to obviously like move it over here to this area once we start um, like organizing it, but I think it's perfect. I think it's just what we needed. Um, other than like actually having like a big piece of furniture there, I think that for 50 bucks this will do. And hopefully it should at least hide some of the clutter. So um, once I get them down for their nap, then I can work on that. And then my thought was that I could make some like vinyl stickers with the Cricut and just kind of like label everything so that I know where everything's supposed to go. Okay, sorry, I had to put the kids down for quiet time. So now I can get in here, do a little organizing. I'm just gonna do a quick little, um, probably like a quick little time lapse, just go through. I've decluttered this recently, but we're gonna see what we can do, what kind of categories we can set these up with. I also wanted to change out like that blue caddy for something a little bit more elegant. So I don't have to look at that blue thing. So I don't know, down the road, maybe I'll stick like the writing utensils in like another bin or something that then I can put in there. But for now, this is what we have. So let's see how much I can accomplish while they are sleeping.
just like that, I feel like I finally have a dining room again. I think it looks a lot better. So let me go this way, show you guys what it looks like. I think, you know, it's not perfect, but I think that for now, it's a million times better than what we had before. So I'm gonna make labels, like I said, to put like, you know, to name everything so I know exactly where to put everything back. So what I did is I put Riley's schoolwork or like the pages that sometimes I like for her to work on in this one. And then I have other like educational books. Like these are the ones that I got at the, um, the dollar section at Target the other day that I put in here. And what else? I got stickers in this one. This is, I think, oh, this I did to be like the drawer where I keep like the artwork and stuff that I want to keep for Riley's. So normally what ends up happening is she'll do something and then I'll just throw it on this table. So having somewhere to put it is good. And then I can like go when it gets full, like I can take it downstairs and like make a filing cabinet or something for her for that. And then I have like magnet toys here and I have the Crayola mess free pages here and what else did I do I did coloring books all in one bin and then I did down here like all the painting stuff so like her paints her brushes all of that and then these are like educational like flashcards and puzzles and things that I hope to work with her on and then these are just like blank pages like blank things that she can put stickers on and stuff this is just kind of like a random like sensory bin that i can just like throw things in here and then this was also like water wows and i put like some miscellaneous things that i had in there and then i swapped out that blue caddy i was looking for a white one obviously that's normally what i like to put out but they only had a black one, so I thought that was still better than the blue. Just kind of reorganized some of the things here. And then here I put like bubbles and this little paper thing that goes with the easel. And down here I have like her big sticker pads. But what do you guys think? I think that's still, like I said, a lot better, a lot more organized than it was before. And I think the drawers are kind of hard enough that, like, I don't think Jackson can open those. Riley might if she pulls hard enough, but we're going to see. We're going to give her a chance to not get into that. If not, Joe says that there's, like, a Velcro thing that he can put. So we'll see how it works out. But biggest thing is that I actually have, you know, cleaned a dining room table, even though we hardly ever use this thing. Do you guys use your dining room? Because we do not. But it's, like, right off of, like, the entrance. So, like, I haven't transform this space into like a playroom or anything because i feel like it would be like not the most beautiful thing to see when you walk in so still a dining room but at least we have the art stuff kind of like hidden over there to the corner so i don't know about you guys but i would call that a very successful day i'm very pleased i honestly didn't think that we were going to get to all that stuff um my hopes were very low so i'm glad that we accomplished that that was like the one thing i really wanted to get to this weekend and that is it i think jackson is not napping so I'm gonna give him a few more minutes to kind of roll around in there. I'm gonna just take a break for five minutes and then I'll go get the kids. All right, you guys, so it's like six o'clock. The kids are over here. Somebody's gonna bust their butt and fall off the couch. But um, we've been just trying to relax and chill <laughs> the rest of the afternoon. I've already taken like, I don't know how many feet to the face. It's just been a little bit crazy over here. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and I think end the vlog here. So I hope that you guys don't, enjoyed. Hey, don't end it here. Why? End it there. No, shut up. We're gonna end it here. No, there. No, over here. We're gonna end it. No, there. <laughs> we're gonna end it because we need to figure out what we're doing for dinner and all of that. Um, so I'm also making sure that Jackson doesn't spill that cup of water That's over there. Jackson, please don't make a mess. All right, so that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Um, thank you again to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. If you want to check out their cleaners, all their different like kits that they have, remember that I have a code that gets you 15% off extra on top of the already like bundled kit price. So definitely check them out and thank you to them for sponsoring. And that is it. I love you guys. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.